What up, Heart Squad? Today, I got a mystery box that says Fragile. It is from a very, very special Heart Squad member that said there are vintage Pokemon cards on the inside. Now, he didn't go into it more because I wanted it to be a surprise not only for myself, but for y'all watching today. So if you are excited, Heart Squad, on this lovely fine Saturday, hit that thumbs up button because we got a mystery box from a fan. Now, I went ahead and just opened up the top and quickly noticed not only this very, very cool looking yellow bag of no publicity, no publicity. <clears throat> Excuse me. This lovely note right here, which I'm gonna read first, and then that's about as far as I got, other than seeing a nice little squirtle face looking at me, <laughs> so. I will read the notes and we will get on with the rest of the box. Dear Leonhart, what up homie? Here's a little package I wanted to send for your birthday. My birthday was in January, January 21st. It's a bit late. He was waiting on one item to arrive from an eBay purchase and it took forever. Better late than never, so happy belated birthday. You're an inspiration and you spread so much joy, love, and positivity to the world. From watching your vids and reading people's comments, it's easy to tell that your videos bring a lot of joy to a lot of people, and you even help people get through hard times. You've inspired an incredible amount of individuals to start their own channels, including him, sharing love and positivity even more like a ripple effect. When life gets hard or after a long day of work, people sit down, watch your vids, and can just chillax and forget about it and feel fun, joy, nostalgia for the good times. That's so important in the world these days, and I hope you know you're greatly appreciated. I can't stress enough how much people who generate positive influence mean to me. Thank you for that. I have an 18 old month son named Hody, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that and I'm about to have another in August congratulations I'm very blessed the fact that I have kids makes me only appreciate the love you share even more so so this pack is just an example of my appreciation for you and what you do it's nothing too crazy well way to spoil it no no but all the stuff means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to you as well I know you'll enjoy opening all of this stuff and it feels good to be able to share some happiness with you makes me feel even more blessed happy belated birthday my brother Holla at ya, Bulbamon. P.S. He's a Heart Squad level 5 on Patreon, so thank you so much for that. Bulbamon, Bulbamon. Well, thank you so much, Bulbamon. I appreciate it. Appreciate you and appreciate y'all watching. Let's get into the box. I'm just going to take this off really quick. Oh, my goodness. Well, there is quite a, there's quite a few bit of items in here. First off, we have, and I'll try to do it non awkwardly as possible, this, my friends, is a Bulbasaur plush. Looks like a Pokemon Fit plush. Uh, if uh, Yeah, it's from the Pokemon Center. Y'all can see right there. So I believe it's a Pokemon Fit plush. This is what y'all are going to have to do. You're going to have to let me know what are we going to name this guy. That's what your call, your question of the day, not call of the day, unless there's packs in here. Um, I'm going to put them on the side. Let me know his or her name. Next up, and I'll, oh gosh. Looks like there's going to be lots of cards to be opening up today. Oh, it's Mickey Mouse! Yay for Mickey Mouse! Yay! The And, uh, non-awkwardly as possible. That looks like a sealed theme deck. Lots of more cards. And... Wait, what is this? Oh my goodness! That looks like an old school binder. Hopefully, maybe, there's Pokemon cards on the inside. This is an empty, no, that's very, very non-conspicuous right there. And last but not least, it's an empty box. Well, Bulbamon, I'm so grateful to have you in this community, and I appreciate whatever you sent me, I know we are all going to love today. So, because this is falling apart, I'm going to go through this first. It's missing, no! Oh, that's the back of a, uh, you can see I just get very, very excited. Shiny cardboard. Hence the whole why I open up Pokemon cards for a living thing. So we have a very nice vintage Gym Heroes Magneton. Pretty cool. Next up we have another. This is a Brock's Trainer card. Very, very cool. This is a Koga Holographic and this is specifically in one of the Koga theme decks. So that's kind of cool. I always thought that was a very beautiful card. Erica Holographic. And a lovely Natu, and he knew that 
but this would get me like all excited and stuff. So that's a reverse holographic not to. So we all got to yell out the words, not to. How do you do? You can tell I've just either had A, caffeine today, or B, I'm just very, very excited whenever I do videos for y'all. All right, let's see what these are. I'm gonna go one at a time. Also, we got more vintage Japanese holographics. This is a Brock's Nine Tails. Very, very cool. A very nice uh, Blaine's Moltres. Man, if you get this first edition in English and it comes back a PSA 10 or it's just in great condition, that's one of the best cards you can pull in that set. Blaine's Charizard. Even in Japanese, this card is beautiful and it's actually still worth a decent amount. So Blaine's Charizard and Erica's Venusaur. I always thought this was an interesting card because he's way in the back and there's just like nothing on the left side, but then you look closer and it's a forest. A forest of giant plants. All right, so next up, these are actually wrapped in bubble wrap. So it makes me think, are these ones more precious than the other ones? Hey, they've got Lisa the letter open. Everybody can say hi to her. She's doing okay. All right, so I, I, these better be even better. No, I'm kidding. They can be whatever. They're really good. They are really good. First edition Dark Blastoise. Now, excuse me just for checking. I just... <coughs> Choking up with motion. I just want to see the condition of this because the front actually looks like it's in great condition. So, ladies and gentlemen, first edition Dark Blastoise Hollow. Wow! It's not perfect, but it is very, very close. So, I don't know what you did, but man, if this is from your personal collection or you just got it, this is a very, very great conditioned. First edition Dark Blastoid. Now I'm excited. If there is a first edition Dark Charizard, guys, you better spam and hit that like button. If not, I would still hit it anyway. And there it is right there, a first edition. To Bulbamon, why did you say this was not too crazy? This is crazy. A first edition Dark Charizard holographic. Oh my gosh. It also looks like it's in fantastic condition. The centering is actually really terrible. Like look how much blue there is compared to that side. But still, that's actually like terrible centering, which may even qualify like for the collectors out there that like don't like, like, you know, error and misprint card that like those cards. This is almost like that, man. But I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. What, what else can we possibly get? That can beat those two cards. First edition Ghastly, everybody! No, that's pretty cool. I wonder if there's like maybe something wrong with this card? I, it looks like just like a nice first edition base set Ghastly, which is pretty cool. So thanks for that. And is, this better be a Squirtle. It's Bulbamon himself, but it's on a psychic energy for the Ghastly energy. So, and he wrote it even in purple, purple, in purple. So that's nice. Wow, we have not even began to oh my goodness oh okay I'll, I'll i'll try to go faster here i'll try to go fast but that was amazing so far and how dare he say it's not crazy so we got more japanese cards holographic some rocket golduck and a misty give me the misty all right so those are pretty cool but obviously the first edition holographics from team rocket like tell me tell me those were not the most nostalgic what is this <gasps> Looks like we are opening up some vintage pack today. Not plural, because it looks like it's just one pack. Unless there's more in there. This is a long stem. Wow. I don't even know the last time I've seen a long stem. Jim Challenge. This is my favorite set of all time, other than Sky Ridge for art purposes. Uh, We'll get to it. By the way, have y'all been giving a name for that squirrel over there? You better. You better. All right, so I need to be careful with this because it does look like it's a... As I just, like, go into it. I promise you it's not as crazy looking when I use the scissors. So this is a brush fire deck. Uh, obviously, Lee and her. But it is not sealed. So I kind of want to take a look. Oh, this opens from the side. 
Oh, it's actually sealed on the inside, so I'll get a little nostalgia action for everybody today. That's the holographic Ninetales that comes with the deck. I apologize if this is one, it doesn't look bright enough on the screen, but then again, that could just be my phone. So I'm keeping that sealed. Sorry if y'all really wanted to see that, but there is the rule book. It's version two. And oh man, if we can just go back. Dunkaroos are back. Why in Discovery Zone, I heard is back. Why can't these be back? And okay, don't reprint those. Okay, maybe reprint those. That would, that would be fun if they made a reprint, but that was kind of like a whole copyright thing. Who knows if those will ever really, but then again, it's Pokemon. They do have like billions of dollars. All right, so we will be getting into this pack soon. I do want to get through these three more things. And then there is a whole binder, ladies and gentlemen, over here that y'all better stick around for. Um, I, oh my, there's more packs. Are these Dollar Tree packs though? Not that that would necessarily take away. It says, mm, I threw this in because I still haven't, you haven't pulled the Reshiram and Charizard. <laughs> I know the odds are slim. Yeah, I've opened up over 3,000 packs slim, but there were seven of this art last batch I came across, so I figured, good luck, brother. If I pull it from this, I am sending Bulbamon a very nice card. If I pull the Charizard from this, just because I haven't pulled it, and I will be doing a massive something for y'all fans as well. But that's if I pull it from these. So we'll get to that shortly. Let's get into whatever. Man, this is uh, this has been way more exciting than Bulbamon let on in his letter. What are these? Oh, these are just random cards, but they look like they're Shadowless. So a non-holographic rare base set Shadowless card. Just for checking purpose. The, the conditions are great. Even wrapped in bubble. Charmeleon. What if there's like a nonchalant there's first edition Charizard in the middle? I'll take even a random Charizard. I'll take it. Magmar. Need to eradicate. Oh, even seeing the original base set cards. It just gives you a massive nostalgia. Happiness. All right. Tangula. Computer search. These are rares. Item finder. Computer search. So that's pretty cool. That the Knowing that these all should be shadowless. So that was very, very nice. And the last bubble wrap small item. Looks like it's more cards. Maybe, maybe. Is it more? Oh, it's so now it's regular. Not Squirtle! Unnamed Squirtle, number one. You need to behave. All right, so this is just regular base set unlimited cards. We've got some non-holographic rares. I love the Pidgeotto. Very nice. You're cool. And uh, we'll go through these relatively fast. But look at that. It looks like it may be one of each base set card, like an entire base set. Oh, Squirtle. Squirtle! It's like an entire, yeah, and there's all the trainers, and then if there's energies, are there gonna be energies at the end? Oh, he even included the energies! That looks like a full, complete set of base set. I'm in, I, I'm in shock right now. We got the opening coming, everybody calm down. I'm gonna open this up real fast. Sorry, it's just a folder, but. It feels like there is something on the inside of here. And then we got that binder, which I'm curious to see. <gasps> In what is likely my favorite thing all of a sudden. Look at that. Natu, how do you do? Lovely, lovely drawing. I appreciate that. Let's get into this now. I will try to open this. So this is one of the original binders, if I remember so correctly. That's pretty cool. Okay, look at that. If that doesn't give you nostalgia, Misty, what you doing over there? She's flying. She's flying again on this side. So let's take a look at what's on the inside. Oh my gosh. Sorry, reflections, reflections. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lay these like this. And the good thing about these, is this a whole is this a whole Team Rocket set? Because I'm gonna go crazy if it is. By the way, you can see the uh, little Pokeballs on that. Very nice folder, I will keep that. Squirtle, you, you're doing a good job over there. So let's just take a look at this. So starting off with first edition, wow, wow, wow. So that's non-holo, but that's a first edition Rocket sneak attack. All non-holographic, but still. That's absolutely incredible, as it wants to not be in focus. Dark Arbuck, Blastoise, Dark Dragonite. Wow, these are all first edition. I know lots of y'all that watch this channel love Team Rocket. And seeing it 
what looks like every single card from the set in first edition. I am in shock right now. This is this is this is such a treat, and I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. Because I feel like I'm 10 years old again. This is really cool. Mankey, my favorite Squirtle card of all time, but in first edition now. Now that there's some trainers. Now we're getting to the trainers. Still non-holographic. Still don't care, because that's awesome. And then last but not least, we have a potion energy card. Those were all first edition. Wow. That's incredible. Now, we'll get to this. I'm gonna open a, like these. These are uh, dollar, another dollar general, I believe, because Dollar Tree doesn't sell the ones that are like this. So I believe they're a dollar each. If, like I said, remember what I said earlier, guys and girls. It's Drowsy sitting in a tree. If we somehow pull, hey, psychic energy. If we somehow pull a Charizard Restoram from one of these dollar packs, it just just get ready, just get ready. Spiritomb, yeah. I feel like I pull Spiritomb all the time, but then again, that's actually pretty crazy that we did get a holo, even from the limited chances that we have in today's openings of these dollar general packs. Um, but let's see what we can do in these next packs. Tangula, Oddish. How about that drowsy sitting in a tree, everybody? That was incredible. Uh, by the way, if you're new to the channel and you're still watching, like kudos to you. Hopefully you found me not too annoying. Please do consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell. Even if you're currently subscribed, please consider hitting that notification bell. Will be another video tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Golding, who's pissed? Even in these packs, they still have it. The same order. Usually when there's a Rattata, there's a Golding, who's pissed? Last but not least, one time, one more. Looks like the Soich continues. Yep, the search continues for the hyper rare Charizard, but at least we get to end it with such a, an amazing set that is not wanting to open up. There we go. Look at that. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, safe to say this was not released in for, for sale at Dollar General, uh, but I haven't seen a long stem pack like this in a long time. Hey, I said long twice. All right, so beautiful. Let's get into it. Once again, if y'all can, maybe also, you know, comment the name, this Squirtle, his or her, or, and also you can also say thank you to Bulbamon in the comment section below for sending us this amazing box. Um, 11 additional cards. <clears throat> I think it's three. Now I'm going to look off screen. If I got it wrong, then I got it wrong, but enjoy this little bit of nostalgia. That's the squirrel's just chilling over there. I think my face is blocking him, but he's right over there. He's right under me right now. Sabrina's Kadabra. Obviously we want to get Blaine's Charizard is the number one card from the set that you want to get. Erica's Ivysaur. Then I think I did do the energy because it's going to be like two. No, that was, no, that was Ivysaur. Okay, calm down, Leonard. <gasps> Giovanni's Magikarp. Pretty cool card, and it really, I feel like this card was an, ins like, kind of inspired some of the Expedition in Aquapolis Magikarps. If you want to see those, just search for Leonhard Vintage Opening, and just see me opening up those packs. There's Tangela doing, what's her name's hair? I'm completely forgetting right now. Oh man, that's embarrassing. All right, we'll just move on. Misty's Psyduck. Blaine's Rhyhorn. I'm going so slow through these. Sabrina's side. I want to see a battle between Misty Psyduck and Sabrina Psyduck. Obviously, with a move like random ESP, Sabrina Psyduck is going to win. Lieutenant Surge's Rattata. I think it's time for the rare. And a Koga's Arbok is the non-holographic rare and Lieutenant Surge's Raticate is the final card. So Bulbavon, thank you so much. Heart Squad, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing. More videos and vintage openings right over there. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.